I am jealous for her. There is a certain British biologist in our day who is one of those men who increases the volume of his opinions in direct opposite proportion to the level at which he is qualified to hold those opinions. Unfortunately for the level of the intelligence of the general population, the opposition to the gospel we hear the most in our apologetic efforts come from his works. His problem with Jesus is, fundamentally, one of rebellion. He, and many others, claim they cannot understand why we, alongside the Apostle Peter, think so highly of the precious blood of Jesus. This precious blood is, says Peter, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. Peter is directly referencing the Passover with this statement. The judgment of God, come as the angel of death, is moving through the earth, slain all who have made the decision to be God's enemy. Unfortunately for us, we all have sinned, and all are counted as God's enemy, through our own willful thoughts and actions. Fortunately for us, God takes no pleasure in the death of sinners, and instead of asking us to provide our own sacrifice, has provided the one upon whom the righteous execution of justice will be served. This is not a pagan style of sacrifice. God is not capricious, sitting on top of Mount Olympus, looking for an excuse to hurt us, greedily looking upon our self-denial with sadistic glee. This is instead that perfect, holy justice, which all of us humans, saved or unsaved, truly desires. None of us enjoy evil, as much as our sinful nature would deceive us into thinking. All of us feel relieved when justice is served and good prevails. And God does not want those whom he loves to suffer our just deserts and has therefore shown us mercy while still maintaining the honour of his justice. This is the death Christ died on the cross. The death we deserved, borne by someone else, because that someone else loves us so much. God is jealous for us. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoking wick he will not quench. It is out of God's great love for us that he has spared us the second death, and instead given us riches and honour and glory. We are the jewel on his crown, the beautiful bride prepared for him. The precious blood of Jesus is imperishable, worth more than anything on earth or in heaven, and is our salvation and the proof of God's love for us. Are you walking daily by the Saviour's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?